Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro and welcome to this another episode of DP600 series. My name is Ajay Kumar and in this video we are gonna talk about monitoring a Microsoft Fabric data warehouse. In the last video we have created a data warehouse and we see how to create the queries, how to run it against, how to convert a view, etc. If you remember, in my last video I was trying to create a view but I wasn't able to create it and I wasn't able to find it out. This is because I was getting this error and it was not being created. That was the reason that we couldn't find that one and I thought it's been created. My apologies, I mistakenly didn't realize that. Now, a data warehouse is a vital component for your enterprise. It is also important to learn how to monitor it because this will give you a better understanding of the activities that are happening inside your data warehouse. So, in this video, we are going to talk about the Microsoft Fabric Capacity Metrics app, the current activities that you are going to run in a warehouse with Dynamic Management Views or DMVs, how you are going to monitor querying trends with Query Insight Views. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and do share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can also learn something new. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. It is very important to monitor a data warehouse to track and manage costs, identify and resolve query performance issues, and to gain insights into how your data is being used. The very first is the monitor using the monitor capacity metrics app and how you can find it. Well, let me log in. We are going to install a new app right now. If it's also appearing for you, better go with the powerbi.com, then you can easily go there and install the Microsoft Fabric Capacity app. So I'm going to click over here and here I have to find one app. So click on get app and here we are going to see capacity matrix app. This is the app that you are going to need it. So please do install it. It will take some time and you have to also connect with your capacities over there. And for that you are going to need capacity IDs. And here we are going to say get now. Hopefully this is going to get connected with my capacity automatically. If not, then we have a challenge. But this is the very first point which you can use to monitor your Microsoft Fabric. And how does this work? Well, meanwhile, this is going to get installed. I'm going to let you know a couple of points over here. The very first, the cost of your, the cost of using Fabric capacity is based on capacity units, which is calculated in seconds. Each action you perform in Fabric or in Power BI resources can consume in CUs, for which your organization is being built. It is therefore important to you to enable the monitor capacity usage to plan and manage your cost, how much cost is appearing. Now, if you really want a detailed tutorial over there, then I have to create another video and you guys have to let me know in the description section if you don't know how to use this capacity matrix app. Let me try to connect it with my capacity. So I'm going to need one ID. So let me try to get it, guys. So guys, here I'm going to write it, my capacity ID. And here I'm going to write to and let's see now i'm gonna connect to my capacity matrix and i'm gonna use this and here i have to select my capacity from the drop down for that it would take some time to come over here it's not gonna appear here because it takes up to 24 hours to appear but you have to use this capacity matrix app if you really want to see how much cus you are consuming Meanwhile, you can see on your screen, there is a clip is being played, which is from the Microsoft sources. And that's how you can see that how many CUs are being consumed over there. So this was the very first part where you can use the capacity metrics app to check how you are going to monitor the CUs consumption inside your organization. And this is not only for data warehouse, for other artifact items as well that you are consuming. Now, the another part that how you can do that, it's by monitoring the current activities. And in order to manage or monitor the current activities inside your data warehouse, you have to use the dynamic management views, which are going to help you to get the right information. Basically, we have three kinds of different dynamic management views. One is for connection, one is for sessions, and another is for requests. And these are going to return the different informations related to connection, sessions, and request. So let me just query one dynamic management view where we can query by using the star as well. For example, if you want to retrieve detailed information about current activities in the data warehouse, then we are going to use one or all of these three dynamic management views. And for that, I'm going to write a simple query over here. And let's select this. So over here, you can see use that I'm using the connection. Then also I'm using the session one and then I'm using the in request one. So all of these three are in the inner join and I can simply run it. 
after some time you can see that i'm the only user who's running it so i can get my session my request or my connections all the data over here now if you would like to monitor the queries over here then you can also use the different dynamic management views again microsoft fabric data warehouse includes query insights feature that provides historical aggregated information about the queries that have been run this is going to enable you to identify frequently used or long running queries and helping you analyze and tune your query performance for that what i'm going to do i'm going to first get my query insights and how i can get it well i can again write another query over here so let me write it and this is the query here i'm using query insights dot exec request underscore history so this is gonna details of each completed sql query so i'm gonna run it and you can see that all the queries that i have run with the my name so i'm gonna get all the information here similarly if you really want to get the execution time then you have to use another dm over here so there are three main dms over here so i'm just gonna write it over here so let me just write a new query so that you can see that so these are the three different dynamic management views that you can use it to write your queries over there all right guys so if you would like to explain this you can write it and it's gonna give the explanation what are these and how you can use it so this was the another way to monitor the queries in Microsoft Fabric. And now if you would like to do certain exercises yourself, you can do that. But if you would like to know that what are the different components, how these are being run, you can also come over here under systems. And here you are going to find all the views over here. So all the dynamic management views are here. You can check them, try to run by uh, try to run them one by one. And then you can execute them. You will get all the different information about your own data warehouse. So please guys, practice, practice and practice. This is the only way you can crack your exam. Also practice the question answers as well. Then let us know if you have any feedback for us. Till then guys, keep learning and keep exploring the world of Microsoft Fabric and Data. If you need any Power BI and Microsoft Fabric training, please do connect with us. Also, if you are looking for any consulting services, you can reach out to us. Till then, keep learning and I'm going to see you in the next video.